Hello, I'm Chris of FilmsByChris.com, link in the description. This is my second channel on hardware, and today I'm going to talk about a little device here um, that we're going to be using in a lot of projects. This is an ESP8266. Basically, it's a microcontroller with Wi-Fi built in. Think of it as basically an Arduino with Wi-Fi built in. Now, what's great about this is you have plenty of GPIO pins. So you can get inputs and send outputs to many devices, but again, since it has Wi-Fi, you can connect to it pretty much from anywhere in the world using your smartphone, laptop, desktop, whatever you have, whatever device you have connected to Wi-Fi, you can send and receive stuff to this device. Now, one of the great things about this device is that it's super cheap. Now, this one I bought off Amazon for $8, and that was with two-day prime shipping. I saw pretty much the same exact module uh, on eBay for $4 with free shipping, but that was coming from China and it was going to take about two months for me to get it. So I paid the extra $4 to get it in two days so that I could do this video. Um, and there are other versions of it because there's many different models of this uh, that you can get even cheaper for like 2 or $3. The main difference between this module and those modules is this one's called a development board uh, and, the, and the big difference here is um, it has USB, uh, micro USB built in here as, long, as well as buttons to reset and flash it. With the other ones, the cheaper ones, you'll need a separate device to connect to it and program it and flash it and to me it's worth an extra two or three dollars to have that built in because I also like to power these things using cell phone chargers uh, rather, than have, rather than having to wire into this with a different charger. Um, so yeah, for a couple of dollars, anywhere from three to eight dollars depending on how in depth you want to get, you can get one of these devices. You can set it up to be a web server or a web client so you can have scripts run on it or programs run on it and um, so yeah you plug it in it's almost instantly on it takes a few seconds to connect to your network and you're up and going and you can have a full-blown server running that you can connect to with your smartphone tablet or any internet device and again what we're going to be using this a lot for is in conjunction with a relay and if you've watched some of my videos on hardware stuff, almost everything you're going to be doing is turning stuff on and off. Whether you're opening a garage door, unlocking your car door, turning on your air conditioner, turning lights on and off, you're just turning something on and off with a switch, which is what a relay is. And you can get a relay for a dollar or two. So, for under ten dollars, you can have an internet-ready device that you can turn things on and off uh, unlock doors, open doors, bunch of stuff, under $10, you can do it from your smartphone or tablet uh, without having to install anything. You just point your web browser at this device and you're good to go. Uh, so just wanted to give you a little preview of this device, a little talk about it because we are going to be using it a lot in a lot of projects because I love controlling things wirelessly and although um, there's other ways of communicating, which we might get into in future when it comes to things like Bluetooth or other wireless modules. Again, this is super simple. If you're not deep into hardware stuff, you've probably, if, you, if you've done any type of programming, you understand HTML and HTTP. And so, very easy. And again, once it's connected to your network, you can open up a port on your router and it's accessible from anywhere in the world that you have an internet connection to. So, definitely, definitely a great option. Um, and again, this is an ESP8266 module. They come in a variety of formats. Again, this one, uh, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. Uh, you can get it on Amazon for $8 with two-day shipping or on eBay at, at currently for $4, but you're going to have to wait a month or two to get it. Um, but I have two of these and I've been using them for small projects and I'm loving it. So thanks for watching. As always, this is uh, my second channel, which is on hardware stuff. Be sure to check out my first channel. There should be a link to that in the description if you're more interested in software side of things. Uh, and also check out my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link to that in the description. There you can search through all my videos from both channels as well as get a link to the RSS feed uh, to add to your RSS reader 
so that you can keep up to date on both my channels. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. It does help me out, especially with this being a new channel. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.